So welcome to my first video this month using the brand new Wild Whisper Designs um, collection. The name totally, completely, and utterly escapes me right now, and I'm not near my scrapbook desk. Ugh! But that's okay. I'll link it below with the correct name. Oh my. So these are the other products I have chosen to work with today. Some doilies, some uh, wood veneer from the store, some sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps, and some flare badges from um, KJ Kareen or Accent Scrapbooking. She kind of goes by both names. So I was so excited and to use this kit that I started cutting stuff apart before I turned my camera on. I kind of forgot to turn my camera on. So what I'm showing you here is what I have chosen and my plan for this layout so far uh, because I started working on it before I turned my camera on. So what I did was, was I took this house paper, this house paper is so cute, oh my goodness, and I cut the branding strip off. And then I'm going to put the branding strip up at the top and I'm going to use the two doilies for the background and I have two different sets of stamps or not stamps. I have three different sets of stickers, but I actually only ended up using one. So I had this brilliant idea that I was going to stitch around the blue houses. I kind of was thinking that I was going to go back and forth between those two embroidery threads, but then ultimately I kind of changed my mind and decided I'm just going to use that darker because it matches the best. So I left a little bit of my stitching in, and just a word, if you kind of noticed that those spools of um, stitching thread look different, I just got them at my Joann's. They were on clearance, so they were really, really inexpensive. Um, they were way less than a dollar per skein, and there's uh, the skeins, as you saw, like the little packages of the embroidered thread were really, really big, and they're called Cotton Perler um, thread. So they're thin. They don't need to be... Um, split apart and as you can see they made gorgeous hand stitched houses on my layout. So just you know in case you ever are looking for something like that check out your Joann's maybe they have them on clearance. I bought man more than 12. I bought a ton of them because they had all different colors and they were beautiful and they don't need to be separated and they have this gorgeous texture to them. So this is the branding strip from that houses paper and I'm just going to place it up at the top of my layout and now all of these kind of cards that are going to be around my photo are from the card pack that comes, that is, you know, you can buy the papers and then you can also buy the card pack. And I love the card packs. A Wild Whisper Designs always has like the coolest card packs and I love that their branding strips are super useful and I just, I can't say enough about how gorgeous this collection is and how much I love it. Um, and that's why I started working with it like immediately when I popped it out of the bag instead of remembering to turn on my camera. Whoops. So this is a photo of my son and his crazy dog that sits on his lap while he plays video games. And he's a big dog. He's a beagle. And he's he's big. He's not tiny. He's not like a little terrier or anything. And I thought that this one 3x4 card with the blue fur would be absolutely perfect to do my journaling on. The two mint pieces at the end are actually uh, part of the same card. It was a 4x6 card, and I cut off those two ends, and then there's actually another little bit, like, there's not actually another bit that has a house on it that's super cute that I think I'm going to use in another layout. So these are some 8-inch doilies, and I am just tucking part of one underneath my photos and the journaling cards, and part of one above my photos and my journaling cards because I just wanted the super duper lacy bits on my layout. So just the super duper lacy, lacy bits are going to show on this. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work with this yellow doily. So this yellow doily had totally gotten crushed, but it was the only yellow doily I had and I kept it. I don't um, tend to throw away anything, even crushed doilies. So I'm going to put one little piece of that doily up at the top and I'm going to cut the other pretty bit there and then later on you'll see there's a wrinkle in it and I'm going to fix the wrinkle and I'm going to show you how you can fix the wrinkle if you have a crushed a doily as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work with um, just these uh, wood veneers. So these wood veneer pieces are from, I think they technically were made to go with the Focus on You collection. Uh, but I'm going to use them on this layout and I'm just, you can see there's a bunch of them in the package and there's feathers and I'm just going to use these little like wooden 
organic botanical spriggy things and that's what I'm going to use on this layout so and then again the little uh, flare badges were just from my stash but I know I bought them at that KJ Kareena accent scrapbooking which is an Etsy shop and then I'm going to take my sequins which are sunny smile speak sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps and I'm going to put them one little yellow sequin on each yellow house just for a little fun detail. And now I'm grabbing some enamel dots and some little bubble, iridescent bubble things from my stash and I'm just gonna sprinkle those around because I love them. Uh, the little iridescent bubbles are from Queen & Company. And I'm gonna fix the smashed doily. <laughs> so watch, this is super simple. Get some glue, put it under the doily, smush it around, make the doily stay flat, perfect done. Held. Doesn't look smashed anymore. So here is my journaling. I put it in this little house. Perfect spot for it. And I did a little bit of like fun uh, lettering on it because I there wasn't a ton of journaling and it would it looked cute with the fun lettering. So I took the time to do that. So now I'm trying to decide which one of these letter stickers I want. And I decide that I really, really want these wooden ones. But I'm going to find out as I make my title that I don't have enough letters to make my title. Whoops, but it's okay. We're gonna fudge it. We're gonna um, flip some of those threes around and we're gonna make them ease and um, all that. So right now I'm just kind of deciding um, what, where I'm gonna put different things. My title is going to be A Boy and His Beagle. I actually kind of scrap lifted this title. I don't know if can you scrap lift a title? Um, but I saw a title very similar to this um, in one of my Facebook groups and I immediately thought of this photo and immediately knew that when I scrapbooked this photo, that was the title of my page. Here's where I figured out I don't have these. So I'm going to flip out that E for uh, backwards three. And now we have E's and they match so it doesn't look funny because one of them, you know, I flipped out the one that was, I, you know, flipped them out. You saw, you get it. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and splatter some lovely, lovely shimmers just for a little bit of extra, extra verve, extra, I don't know, extra something. Um, and this is the No Yokings. So it just gives you, it's just a solid color, doesn't shimmer. Um, and it's just yellow, very yellow. I love yellow. I was so excited to work with yellow. It's such a sunny, fabulous color. And that will pretty much complete our layout. I don't think I do anything else to it. I think that's pretty much it. Yep, here's the end. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you later this month with another of the projects using this collection. And be sure to check out the Wild Whisper blog and website down below for some close-ups. Bye!